Hello and welcome back to Andy Plays DGV. Uh, after our last little series playing through the Pro Tour last week, I thought today we'll jump back into a uh, daily challenge. Let's have a look. Today's daily challenge. I've not given it a go yet, so this will be my first run. A little look at the course layout. We have Alwood, Cahol Backwards and Oak Hill. So it should be... It shouldn't... Nothing too hard there. Cajo Backwards is probably my favourite course. So looking forward to playing that. So let's jump right in. Okay, for this uphill uh, dog leg hole, I'm going to take the accurate roll Sapphire. Aim between these two trees. Give it a decent amount of hyzer. And that should take us up right next to the basket. Has a tendency to hide underneath this bush, but we can uh, slide out of that. Point up a little bit more, and then we get our birdie. Next hole, next is a uh, par four, or the island hole. So, oh, so what I want to do here is there is a log that is by the water's edge over here somewhere. And I want to nestle up against that because that gives the perfect angle to go for the green where the tree is behind the basket. If I can get there, this will make sense. The problem is, is that it's kind of in between discs. Uh, I've thrown this one quite a lot. The Ballista Big Skip Water Skip. I really do like this disc for a, a skip disc that's just not quite as long as like the Cloud Breaker or the Ballista Pro. But because of that skip, it can do funky things. Now I could roll, uh, or I could throw the Ballista Glide water skip. Um, and I think I will do that actually. Uh, so I'm going to aim roughly just straight down the fairway, give it a disc's worth of hyzer. And then hopefully, oh, that's turned inside a lot, actually. That's not what I intended to do, but you can see that log off to the right there. That's where I wanted to be. And I'll show you why. Because now, if I miss the basket, I'm going to go straight into the water behind it. Whereas if I was over here nestled up against that log which is where I wanted to be then the angle means that this tree protects or will give you somewhat of a backstop behind the basket so I th oh, I'm really tempted to go for this but I won't I don't think I think I'm going to lay up and I think I'm going to aim at the tree to lay up Okay, so it's 57 metres, roughly 60 metres. So if we take a good chunk of it off, um, say something like that, wait for it to come back the other way, and then that should just slide up and stop. Didn't even need the tree in the end, luckily. And um, we'll get our birdie. Sometimes you can get eagle on that hole. You can, Like I said, if you're in the right place, you can give it a, a, a safe-ish run. But this time around wasn't to be. So, this is a Sphi or a Fuse hole. Uh, take your mid-range of choice. Put the middle pointer down here. And then for the Sphi anyway, it's just a straight pullback, I believe. No, I've not played this hole for a while. Oh, look, there we go. Lovely. And, you know, with the right skip, you could even get an ace there. I'm sure lots of people do know an ace line for this hole. I've not figured one out just yet okay so uh three birdies next to Cahol backwards tough wind for this hole tough wind this hole's tricky um i'm gonna take the sapphire roll because of the wind i'm gonna aim down a little bit from the default aim and i'm gonna give it quite a chunk of hyzer to try and fight that wind which it's not doing very well, but hopefully it will bounce back out from behind the bush, which it does. And we can have a look at Birdie, but we've got a strong three headwind. So we need to take some off here because it's going to jump. 
I'm going to putt as if it was 15 metres. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Smack in the middle of the basket. Very nice. Next up, par five. Oh, this hole. I like this hole. So we're going to take our blister glide water skip disc. Default aim. Pretty much straight back. Just a slight hint of hyzer. Just a slight hint. And that is perfect. Um, if I could have chosen a spot to land, that's where I would have landed. And now I'm going to take the light glide ballista pro. And then uh, I think just straight back. Just two straight pullback shots. And that will take us up right next to the basket for a tap in. For an eagle on that hole. Okay, last one for Cahill Woods. It's a par four. The river hall. Okay, so we'll take our sapphire accurate roll. Put like a half a disc of Anheuser on this just to flex it a little bit. So it comes down. Don't be behind that tree. Oh, it's going to make this next shot tricky. I think I'm just going to have to play through it. So take the same disc again. I'm tempted to take the PD. But we'll, we'll stick with this one. And let's just pull back. Miss that tree, please. Wow. We got past it anyway. And we have a putt. There we go. So six down, seven down through six. And Alwood, I believe, was the last course. Ooh, ace run. We go for it. Calm wind. I think so. Let's take the Saint Pro. Put the pointer at the base of the basket. And then we're going to flex it. So we'll uh, do a full disc of Heiser. And Heiser, sorry. There we go. There. It's going to wander off to the ah that wandered way I turned that far too much oh dear we're in bad times now okay 30 meters little bit uphill but no wind and for me 30 meters with this disc is just the uh, back side of this first Wi-Fi band oh the slight uphill got me. Oh, I'm unfortunately going to take a par here. That's disappointing. That's normally, you know, always a birdie. Um, hmm, not great wind here. Normally, well, I think I still am going to. I'm going to take the light glide ballista. Just to aim this side of the river. And then, uh, how much hyzer do we want? I don't think that much. Maybe half a disc. There we go. And it should come back over the top of those trees. Oh, just flicked it coming through. Didn't stop it too much. We've got to look, 26 meters. With a headwind. So I'm going to take a little bit off. Maybe as if it was 22. Oh, and we've just tucked the top of the basket. Should have taken more off. So disappointing not to get an eagle there for sure. Last hole. Bomber hole. So default aim. Discs worth the Pizer with Rudolph. Off you go, buddy. Show us what you can do. Bit. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Every time I go to say big skip, we get a dud skip. Uh, oh, that's disappointing because now we've got a tricky, tricky putt here. This tree is really in the way. Yep, well, this is the side to go. I'm just going to aim slightly to the, the right of the basket. And then try and hyzer this a bit. 
something like that maybe are oh, way too much higher and still hit the tree so i hope oh it's not a given all right it is if we do this though there you go okay so disappointing in Alwood to we dropped three shots across uh, the Alwood course just disappointing finish at nine under they're all relatively easy holes though to be fair um, not a difficult course today and we don't even get gold well that just shows um, that oh we've got a level up that this is uh, a relatively easy what have we got here musket dagger double daggers and a musket okay um, I don't want any of those discs so I'm gonna re-roll these and I'll be back in a moment so here we have our re-roll we've got a, a bounty a musket and an, a triple X uh, I'm not gonna play any of these uh, as I guess the musket we'll take that so yeah, I thought I'd get gold with nine under, but it appears I have to try harder to get the gold, which I probably will. I, I you know, it's a fairly easy course, fairly nice holds. Um, so I'll probably grind this out. The the minus twelve is the the diamond's definitely doable. So uh, I think I'm gonna go for that. So thank you very much for tuning in today. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, come back again tomorrow where I think we'll play a multiplayer round tomorrow. So, see you then.